Hey guys, today we're discussing an important type of a loan and that is a one time, uh, one close construction loan. Many of you are wondering what would it take to build a house from scratch if you have a piece of land or if you are a builder, a small time builder, you are wondering how am I going to finance my plans to build several homes in a row. So this is going to be a conversation for you. With me is a neighborhood loan expert. His name is Andrew, and Andrew and I have posted a couple of videos already recently. I'm going to put some um, some pointers to them above my head. So go ahead and watch those. But nevertheless, let's jump into the one close construction loan, Andrew. Yes, thank you, Elena. So the one close construction loan. So this program, let's start off with what it is. It's a construction loan where you as a client can can have a house built. And the one close means that it's just a one-time close. A lot of other construction loans, there's some differences. You're going to have to start the construction loan during the period that your house is being built. And once it's time for you to move in, you're going to have to refinance it or do it, redo it into what's called the permanent loan, which would be the 30-year, the 15-year fixed. And you have to take advantage of whatever the rates are at that time, whether they're higher or they're lower and closing costs, things like that. The one close and specifically the one close program to us is a loan where it's just one loan from the start to the finish. We start the first loan where you're going to pay in, you're going to interest only payment on what you owe at the time and you're taking draws. But the benefit of it is that once you're actually done building and you're ready to move in, you don't have to refinance. You don't have to redo with extra closing costs. You don't have to potentially take higher interest rates. If the market got better from the time that we started until the time that it is to move in, we can take advantage of the lower rates. Again, the most important thing without having to incur extra refinance costs. So that's one of the biggest benefits that clients use us for construction loans. There's a few other ones. Now, construction loans, you can be a first time home buyer, whether you're looking for your first home or you're looking to upgrade or you know your forever home, you can take advantage of this program. A lot of banks and credit unions and other lenders for construction loans will require at least 20% down or maybe 10 or 20% down. The nice thing about this one is it's a conventional loan. So you can do it with as little as 3% down, 5% down if you're not a first time home buyer. Or if you're a veteran, thank you for your service, you can do it as a regular VA loan with zero down. Now, the benefit to the builder is the builder doesn't have to finance the project. They can, the, the client is getting approved for the loan. The lender is giving the builder draws in different segments of the project to where they're going to get the money and they're going to get the money so that they can do each step of the pro project. Um, some of the benefits of working with this one closed construction loan. Like I said, it's just one set of closing costs. You don't have to refinance or redo it into a regular permanent loan. And it helps your purchasing power because you can put less money down. You don't have to break the bank to be able to build the house. It's as the same as if you're buying a, a house that's in existence already with the down payment. Same exact things with credit score. On a conventional loan, the minimum credit score is 620. Same with this program. It's a conventional loan. Now, whoop. with the construction loan, there we go. Um, there's going to be different draws. And what is a draw? So there can be up to five draws and each draw would be in, like I said, in different segments of the, where you're at in the process. So let's say that you're in the first part and you take your first draw, that would be to pull permits, to get the blueprints, to start the, the foundation. And then once that's all done, you can do the second draw. And let's say the second draw would be used for the, the, the lumber package, framing, putting the, the roof on, drywalling, things like that. And then the third draw could be the drywall, I'm sorry, yeah, the drywall, the flooring, cabinets, the kitchen, everything like that. So it's each step of where you're at is where you're, you're getting draws and giving that to the builder 
and so that they can complete the next step of, of the build process. Um, any any questions? So let's just say, let's just play pretend this scenario. Me and my husband, we want to build a house. We found a piece of land that is um, available for sale. We have selected the builder who has been recommended to our family. What would be our next step as far as so that, that that piece of land has not been bought yet, right? Yeah. That lender, uh, that uh, builder has not been engaged. What would be the step-by-step -step process for us to starting to put this deal together? Yeah, so the very first thing is you would want to get with your loan officer and we you would tell us who the builder is going <clears> to <throat> be. We have to get that builder approved through the, the lender. And some of the things that the builder you want to look out for is someone who's built at least five homes in the last three years. Um, you know, they've got a good business score for through construction, doing like reviews, things like that. We're going to look at their credit score, the owner's credit score. So you want to get with your loan officer and let them know who your builder is. Your loan officer can send the builder the, the quote unquote application package for them to get approved to be the, the GC, the general contractor on that program. There's no self-contracting. You can't like build it yourself. Even if that's what you do for a living, uh, we wouldn't necessarily be able to self-contract that. So it's first step is to get with your loan officer, get pre-approved, get a pre-approval to make sure that you're able to qualify not only for the, the land, but once the construction loan is done, that you're gonna get approved for that. And then send us over who the builder is gonna be, We'll get the builder approved, and then that's when we're going to start the whole process. Question, what about the land? I still need to buy that piece of land. Will that somehow be a part of that process, or do I need to buy? Because let's just say yeah. the piece of land that I want is $80,000 right now. Yep. So you can do one of two things. We can treat it as a purchase where you're buying the land and the construction all at the same time. Uh -huh. It's it, That's a purchase. Now, let's say you decide to buy the land first. It would technically be a refinance construction loan, which there's not much difference. But then we would take into consideration the land that you own. If you've used a loan to buy the land, then we would be paying off that land loan within the, the same time as doing the construction loan. So if you already own the land, it would technically be a refinance. You don't have to buy the land first. We could do it all together in the same, same transaction. It would be considered a purchase. Perfect. So I think that's pretty much a square. Let's play pretend a different scenario. Mm -hmm. I am a potentially um, a flipper. I have done a couple of flips myself, but now I found a piece of land. Let's just say somewhere in Forney that is available for sale. And I want to put five houses on that piece of land. Tell me, and that, that land has not been bought yet. It's available for sale. Give me the scenario here. I am now going to resell those homes. Mm -hmm. So if you're a if a flipper per se, in that sense, if you're the builder, you could buy the land and then you could section off each and parcel each one off, and then you could you know market the land and do it. But the benefit for that point of it as the builder is that you don't have to finance the project for each specific house that you're gonna build. You can have the client go out and get the construction loan, get approved for the construction loan, and then you could do it that way. So the benefit of it that way is that you don't have to finance the project and all of the costs to build each house. If you're a flipper and you're not a contractor doing that, I wouldn't necessarily say this is the program the best program for somebody that just wants to do a quick flip because this is a, a true construction loan where you're getting a client that wants to build their house and this is the loan for that person if you want to flip properties then you know typically what people do is, is hard money loans which is you know a different different type of loan altogether no, because I actually live in a part of town where there's a lot of empty lots. Let's just say downtown Dallas, and there might have been two or three burned down lots, right? Yeah. And uh, let's just say that I am looking at this lot, and I'm thinking that I can build here. And once I build here, I will be able to sell it at a good margin. 
So would that loan, would that type of loan be a good option for me as a builder? I'm a builder. I don't have a client yet for that purchase. Yeah, the benefit of that, and, and again, I'll go back to if you're the builder and you're trying to flip that piece of property, buy the property, then yes, it, it would be good. And the whole benefit would be that you don't have to spend your own money mm -hmm. to build the house on that land. Mm -hmm. You can go out and find the client that wants to build on that land and they can get the construction loan. And then they're going to, the lender is going to give you the draws for each step of that program. But first, I would need to have process. first. I would need to have the end buyer, correct? If I yes, don't have an end buyer, end. then I cannot use this program. Is that correct? Exactly. Yes. And also, if I've heard you correctly before, not only do I need to have the the end buyer, but also I need to have some kind of a rating, and I need to have at least five houses built before, correct? Yeah. So at least three house to get approved, you have to have built at least three three houses, new houses, in the last five years. This isn't like you've done some remodels or you've gone in and gutted a kitchen, three houses from ground up from the start to finish in the last f or three years. Gotcha. Uh, so in that case, let's imagine that I am, I don't have those requirements, but maybe I built only two houses so far. What would be the other option? What other options could I use to finance this? then you would there wouldn't necessarily you would maybe do a hard money loan but this mm -hmm. this construction loan to be the builder then you wouldn't be able to take advantage of this program gotcha okay time wise how long is the typical um and when do we lock in the interest rate like t tell me about the the timeline duration yep. you lock it in up front when you start the construction loan process and during the construction loan process there, you you pay interest only on the money that you owe as the payment. So the first draw, you, you know, you're paying interest only on the first draw. And then on the second draw, you're paying interest only on that amount of money and so on and so forth. The interest rate during the build is usually a little bit higher than what you're you're actually locking in at until the end loan. The time frame is either nine months or 12 months. Okay. And the rates for each and the pricing for each is a little bit different. Of course, nine months pricing is a little bit better than 12 months, but you got to make sure that the project gets complete in either nine months or 12 months, depending on the program that you take. But going back to, let's say that you do lock it in and interest rates are at 7%, you know, where we just came out of. And in nine months, they're going to be, let's just say, for instance, they're 4%. You can take advantage of that 4% without having to refinance, pay extra costs, buy it down. Whatever the market rate is at that time, you you can take advantage and get that rate for the end loan of that. So technically, you can start with a higher interest rate and then final the final loan is going to be at a lower interest rate potentially. Yes. Okay. Another question, uh, people are asking about the USDA. So let's just say that this is somewhere in uh, Chrome, Texas, right? USDA, uh, they already looked it up, it, USDA eligible. What would a, what would the situation be then? To, well, if, it, if they want a construction loan, we wouldn't be able to do it as a USDA construction loan. Okay. We'd only be able to do it as conventional in VA. Gotcha. So we wouldn't be able to do a 0% on that one, right? If and if they're a veteran, yes, but if not, then no. Okay, hold on. Let me give me. I just hold on. Let me pause. Another question: Can I use the one-time construction or uh, one-close construction loan for mobile or manufactured homes? Uh, no. It well, manufactured. Uh, no. If it's a modular home, you can do it as a modular, but not mobile or manufactured. Okay, and then. This is about it. I don't see any more questions posed. So how can they contact you? Yeah, so my contact information, um, my cell phone, 989-600-6484. If you, if you scan this QR code, then it goes into a link tree for our, our company and our social media. And it's myself and my business partner that's on there. And if you go in there, you have all my email, our website, uh, get my phone number and there's a link in there that you can click to create your own uh, portal to apply for a loan with us as well okay. right from the comfort of your own home perfect thank you so much so this was andrew you are with neighborhood lending correct 
Yes. Okay, I'm going to post his contact information below. Now, guys, those of you who've been listening to this uh, conversation, if there was a question that I did not raise, that you did not hear from the Q&A, go ahead and type your question in the comments below. I will review all of your questions and I'm going to forward them to Andrew so he can answer you all in person. Also, if you just want to do it privately, go ahead and dial his cell phone number. He's super responsive. Thank you so much. This was Elena Garrett, and I'm a realtor in the Dallas Fort Worth area of Texas. I'll see you guys at the next video. Perfect.